Hey guys, so we are back to take a look at the LG K4. This is LG's budget smartphone that goes for just a little bit over $100. And it is a great little phone to take with you on your trips and outings, so you wouldn't have to worry about losing your iPhone or Galaxy S, whatever it may be. So we are going to take a look at the entire phone and see if it's worth the price. So back here you have the LG logo on this plastic case and it does have some diagonal textures to it so you can hold it better. Up top you have an LED flash, 5 megapixel camera and a tiny little speaker which I cannot say too much about since I have not tried it yet. And down here you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, micro USB, microphone and that's all for the back. Inside you have a 1940 milliamp hour battery, so that should last you, hmm, I wouldn't say the whole day, but let's say three fourths. Anyways, up to the front, we have a 1.2 megapixel camera and a 4.5 diagonal IPS display. And it does have about, I'd say 220 pixels per inch, I'd say. Not too sure about that but it's clear enough. So let's go inside. It is running Android 5.1 right now, Lollipop. So those who are familiar with Android should be pretty familiar with this. Let's go down to software 5.1.1. Okay. And under the hood, we have a Qual Qualcomm Snapdragon 210. So it should be pretty snappy for a quad core. And we're going to do a quick Geekbench test. Okay, let it load up there. It does seem a little bit bogged down. Um, not sure why right now. And it totally stopped working on me. You know, I was just about to recommend this phone to everyone, but now look at it. Anyways, I can remember the score. I think it's about um, 920 for the single and 1,400 for the multi-score, multi-core score, so. It's not too bad. It's okay. Um, let's see what else. It is running with one gig of RAM and it has uh, eight gigs of internal storage. But other than that, uh, I don't know what else to show you guys. Let's take a look at the camera. So the camera is not the best. Jesus Christ. Not the best, but it does work. A little slow. Okay. And the only thing I don't really like is the digital um, back, home, and app switcher buttons right here. They should have their own little spot down here like the galaxies. But it seems to do fairly well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this phone. I am going to be taking it on a trip with me camping. So don't expect too much from this. $100. Cool. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next one.